Oh, it's home improvement time here on the channel. Hi, everybody. Adam Savage in my cave, but not for long because like a lot of people, I have laundry machines in my house and uh, we have a little laundry room and it's a lovely little laundry room. And I have long had a, well, it's probably best if we just go to the laundry room and let me show you the issue. So this is our laundry room. Oh, let me turn on some other light. There we go, that's a little nicer. Hi, yes, this is the laundry room and no, I didn't clean up <laughs> even though I know company was coming. Um, yeah, you know, uh, everybody's laundry room is a little bit dirty. So we have this lovely folding table back here and bins for the laundry and that's great. And the shelf here works also great. Um, where I saw more possibility was here across the two washer dryers. And <clears throat> so what I thought was I would get a butcher block work, what do you call it, bowling alley workbench top that was close to these dimensions, give it a little bit of a backsplash. And I'm not going to secure it to this with anything other than VHB, uh, double stick, very high bond uh, tape because I don't think it needs more than that. These are both pretty darn level. I'll, when I, when I, when I build a tabletop and give it a little backsplash, I'll bring it in. And if I have to shim anything here or level it out, I can, but I'm also not interested in making this a permanent installation. Uh, we may upgrade these at some point. So there's no, yeah, I want flexibility, but I also really can see that I want to fold here and not have the, the tops of these be that folding surface. I just, I've spent a lot of time, I spent a lot of time in here folding clothes and I, I realized that this would make it even more uh, amenable to <clears throat> the time spent in here. I have other plans too. There's gonna be a whole build over here of some racks for dry cleaning and other stuff like that. Um, but for right now, this is the next project. So let's go back to the shop and I will start trimming my butcher block. I just want to say butcher block. I think it's bowling alley. Uh, anyway, it's a hard thing to search for, which is why we're including a link to the one I bought in the uh, description because it weirdly took me a while to find it. Um, and it shouldn't have, but it's a, 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 it's very close to its final dimensions. I'm going to go bring it into its final dimensions and then bring it right back here. Oh, also, if you're wondering about this, this is, we, when we bought this place, uh, now 13 years ago, um, we renovated down here because we needed room for, uh, my sons. They're now grown and out of the house. But when we renovated down here, this particular wall of bins was my wife's absolutely genius idea. So this is where we store all of our stuff. And from an organizational standpoint, I know that some of you have asked how some, how, what the organization is like in my home life as opposed to the shop life. And this is a case in which uh, Mrs. Don't Try This, my partner, Julia, just, it, this is one of the great solutions to me of, of being able to store all your stuff. Um, we have lots of guests come through the house. The kids come and stay and relatives come and stay. And so it's really nice to have this as a place where all the sheets and towels and stuff can go. Um, I'm so grateful for that we did this back when I was making television money. It is a fantastic addition. Um, this whole room is just something that we, we gave up one parking space in our garage for this. And um, I never regretted it. Absolutely. Still, we can still fit a car in the garage. Not today, but in general, theoretically, we still fit a car in the garage and we still have this wonderful, wonderful room for taking care of our dirties. And here it is. This is the new folding table surface. And I'm really, really pleased about it. Um, all right, so let's chat about this for just a sec. Oh, as I said, the... Uh, the two machines, the amount of table surface I want to cover is 26 inches deep and uh, it's 54 and a half inches wide. This is 26 by um, 
So this, I was able to find this, and I'll, we'll include a link in the description. It is like 26 and a half, and yeah, uh, 60 inches. So I got to, ow, so I got to cut, ow. <laughs> you know when your hands are cold and things hit them? This whipped around and knocked, ow. Anyway, I only need to chop about uh, six inches off of the edge of this thing. Then I'm going to do some finishing of it with a um, orbital sander to kind of clean it up. And then I'm going to add a backsplash, not a big backsplash, just a shallow one out of this poplar that I've got. And it's just, you know, because as you see in the, in the, in the clip from my laundry room, uh, there's plugs back there. I can't push the table surface all the way to the wall because of the way the plugs are laid out. But I also can't stand it when you're when you have a table that's got a gap between you and the wall and you drop stuff back there. There's no way I want to end up with some island of lost toys behind my washing machine. Uh, behind my washing machine. Yes, the washing machine. So um, we're going to add a little backsplash in. And I may rabbit that in. Uh, just for security's sake and make it look nice. And then we're gonna install it. It should be, a, we should be able to get it done by the end of the day. I've been doing some one day builds that are um, actually happening in one day. And by the way, yes, I did just get my hair cut. Thank you for noticing. All right, uh, let me get some saw horses. Exactly. We're going to pull out the track saw. Oh, it's just a little bit shy. Let's move this down another very small notch. Ooh, nice 
edge. Well done. So, I want to cut out this much from back here. Okay, I think that's the cut I want to make first. Awesome. Now the question is, those for a while. Shoot. See. Oh, that'll do. Great. More stable, better, wired. with that. That's what it is. Double checking, double checking. Okay, good. Also, that there. Great. Let's see what we can achieve.
That feels pretty good. Let's see how we did. Well, that's not bad. Awesome. Let's get an orbital sander on this. I'm going to use staples to hold this in place and then I'm going to countersink it all in. So let's get this going. So now let's put in some. I think it looks beautiful, don't you? Wait a minute. Did I actually get the other stuff on tape? Tongue oil. I, I gave the I gave my new laundry work table a coating of tongue oil, which is um, one of those oils that says on the package 
warning can spontaneously combust. Whenever you've heard those, those horror tales of someone who left um, a bag full of oily rags that caught on fire and burned down a garage, I've heard that story. It's oils like that. Uh, so follow instructions on the can for how to dispose of the oily rags. Uh, we will, I'll just let this set for a little while. I got a phone call in 10 minutes. It'll take me about 45. It's great. Let this set for about an hour, see how it feels. And then maybe we'll, uh, we'll get ready to do an install. We'll see. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, dude, I dig it. Awesome. I like it. I like the overhang. I like the feel. It's just a much more civilized kind of space. about right. Yep, that's about like that. Just like that, right there. Okay. So. All right, so let's see. Okay, so it's pivoting on the back. Here's a handy pro tip. If you don't have a wedge, half of a clothespin can actually work great as a wedge. And I only needed to jack up that just a tiny bit, and that was sufficient. So this guy can go back in there, that back in there. And then I'm going to put a piece of VHB, yep, the third one. and. Enter the second one. So all right, that should be sufficient. Let's um This looks great. I can't put any clothes on it right now because the, the finish is still hardening. The tongue oil is still hardening. But I feel like this makes this room a lot more... Uh, it actually embiggens the room. And I like that. And it... Uh, I love nothing more than workbench surfaces, man. They make me very happy. So uh, there you have it. Today's one day build. A very quick and not dirty, quick but not dirty, a uh, 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 folding table for our laundry room. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this. Um, and I will uh, see you next time. Bye.